Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny is here. Welcome in to the Thursday night live crafter show. We are so grateful that you're here tonight. The crafty sidekick shenanigans is on the other side and we are thrilled to be with you tonight. If you are new to Meme made it welcome. We're honored that you chose to join us. If you like what you see tonight, be sure to click the box and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time I made it, post a video. You don't want to miss one, I promise. Everything that you see us use tonight can be purchased in our online craft store at www.maymaymadeit.com. And we hope that you'll shop. There's a thing that we do called vinnying the video. It's just like in the video. So if you see that and somebody says, what the heck is Vinny in the video? That's what it means. And I appreciate very much the love that you guys give us every week by clicking the like button, even before we get started. So we're just thrilled to have you with us tonight. My, my, what we got going? Well, we have a lot of people here from the hospital right now. So we want to thank you for tuning in and we hope we can give you something to be happy about. Um, take your mind off whatever you're dealing with. We do have a lot of people in our family either at the hospital or in the hospital. We just have a lot of that going on. So thoughts are with you guys. Um, I wanted to play with this die set and I've wanted to play with it since the day we got it, but y'all buy it every time we get it and I can never show y'all. But now I can because there are some in stock. This is a Thinlets from Sizzix and it is called Festive Foliage. Now you all know that we would call it Festive Vegetation because that's what Clack likes to say. So we would just call it Vegetation, but we're going to call it Foliage because that's what they did. So I was like, what could I do with this die? I've been thinking about it, thinking about it. And I was looking at poinsettia projects, right? Oh my goodness. I saw some done in all white that were so striking. And I'm a person, I like that contrast of color. I, I just love that kind of look. So we're going to do that. Let me show you what I did. I did not cut every single, I hold it like this. I didn't cut every single die. I cut a lot of them. Let me show you. Oh yeah. We need to make sure we do that. Um, I cut in white cardstock. I cut some of the, what are those? Pine boughs. I cut some of this vegetation. Cut some of this vegetation. I cut most of the leaves. And I also cut the poinsettias. It, all in white. And here's the thing. This is that. Okay, so I don't like, I don't enjoy crank, 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 crank. I don't. Okay. I will do it for a project, but my favorite thing is quick and easy, right? So here's what I did. I want to tell y'all the trick. Pick all the ones you want to cut. All right. Take a piece of cardstock. I took a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and I folded it in half. Then I put all the dies I wanted to cut in white on that half sheet of cardstock and ran it through one time. So when I did that, how many did I get? I got two of each one. Okay. So that's a little trick from me to you because you're using the solid white situation. You can do that really easy. Now, the next thing I did in looking at these cards and things online, I was like the pops of color that people add. And I mean, they're just tiny pops of color, but they look so good. So I'm going to add some pops of red for one of my colors. So on this little guy, I knew I would. Oh, it stayed. It stayed. Okay. On this little guy, I cut two more from glitter. So this is red glitter cardstock, and I did exactly the same thing. But here's a trick. If you're going to cut glitter, put the glitter out, like cut glitter out. If you cut glitter in, it'll basically just weld itself together. <laughs> so what it'll do. So you want the papers touching each other. So I folded my glitter paper like this, put my die on top and ran it through. So we got these guys to play with. And then, and these are teeny, teeny, tiny. I did, I think one of these might be one of my other glitters, but I'm not sure. I did glitter for these little guys right here that are the center of the poinsettia because I think that would be pretty. Now, I don't have any idea how I'm going to lay this out. Not any idea, but I know that I'm going to lay it out. Here's the trick when working with all this white, okay? It's texture and it's layers, that dimension, all right? So I want to add some texture. I love this folder. This is a simple, beautiful folder, and I can't remember the name of it. I bet Tamitha can find it. This folder is one of the big um, Spellbinders folders. It's so huge, but I love it. I love the pattern, and it's a really good one to get just a simple background pattern from. So I'm going to use this on my background, and I'm going to run it through my uh, through my Gemini real quick. I bet it's something plaid. You think something plaid? Probably. Plaid uh, background. 
Yeah. Jessica, are you asking, are we in the U.S.? Melissa, it doesn't hurt the dyes. Um, with the exception of cutting something that will dent or what's the word? Nick the cutting space of the die. It's really hard to mess up a die because they're metal. Like they're not etched. They're like they're they're very hard metal. The and another thing, um, how she was telling you to cut it backwards. The smaller and more intricate piece, if you cut in glitter, you want to sometimes cut it onto the solid, like white side. Sorry, um, cut onto the I was white side because intricate small dies the glitter gets stuck in there and it's hard to pull the piece back out but okay yeah anyways. so this is my it depends on how tiny because there, there's yeah. some tiny pieces out there so this is my texture background now here's a thing i'm going to do which is very different than i normally do i'm going to build my card base first and i'll show you why so i'm going to move these things out of the way y'all may still see them in shot a little bit because i don't want to get them too far i'll lose them the, this is not something I would normally do. Will the big embossing folders like that fit into the Sizzix Big Shot? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, they will. Yeah, because the Big Shot opening is what, nine inches, six inches? <coughs> you want to hold it up there and double check? Well, I'm Jessica, pretty sure we it will. are located in Clanton, Alabama, and we uh -huh. uh, do ship products. Yes, yes, it will. Uh, all over the world. Our stamps are designed. <clears throat> and and produced here in the U.S. Um, but not sure in your question. Okay, so I'm going to fold and crease my card base, which is just an A2. And you don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you why I'm going to why I'm going to do it. Why I'm going to do it? Why I'm going to? Because you see how much warp I got from this guy. If I try to do delicate layering on this warped guy, I'm going to struggle. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the warp. <clears throat> and I'm going to do that by using some Scotty. Scotty. Just notice that. Scotty? No, my cup in here. Yeah, I borrowed it the other day. Hmm. All right. I love that it's your cup. It is my cup. Now, I want to show you this. Y'all know I'm not much on covering a lot of the back with foam. You know, I never do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to cover the edges that, you know, so it'll lay nice and flat. Thank you everyone for being the video. We greatly appreciate that. Just to give you an update on that. We have 662 people watching and 308 likes. So we need a few more. Thanks in advance. This Scotty has been in use since when was that one? September? December 12th. Oh, December 12th. Never mind. Six of last months. year, obviously. Yeah. Not this year. We're not there yet. Not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me tell you something. Shannon and I live in a time warp, a constant time warp. And the reason is because, first off, we do something called a monthly folio. Our monthly folio class is always the previous month. Okay, it's in the current month, but we're documenting the previous month. Live with that for six, eight, nine months. It's very confusing. Yes. Secondly, we craft for the holidays, not at the holidays. So it's been Christmas since July, literally. That's all we've seen, looked at, whatever. Yes. Now we're decorating the store for the holidays. So we started decorating the stores. I want to say it was like October 12th we started decorating the store. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. I don't know anything. It is, you know, it'll be the holidays before we know it because it already feels like it for us. It really does. Yeah. That's why if you're coming to Craftacropolis and you got the um, the info sheet, it said November because we were talking about holiday open house while I was working on Craft Acropolis and instead of typing October for all the months and dates of next week I typed November. It there is no way around it around here. No way around it. I don't currently know what the day is other than it's Thursday. <laughs> and Craft Acropolis is next week, right? Uh -huh. We and know I really that got messed up because you know we're having a walking tour downtown. 
And the guy that came and talked to us that's doing the walking tour with us, he kept saying it's two weeks and two days away. Well, his walking tour is two weeks and two days away. Oh, that's Ours true. was a week away. That is true. Not two weeks. So, yeah. All right. Let's really start confused. assembling from the top down. I'm going to start assembling these flowers first. I know they go together. It's an easy thing to do. I don't have to think. That's what I'm going to start with. We'll have to think when it's time to place everything. And that's where I'm bad. I'm just going to tell you I'm not good at it. So, oh, see what I just did? That is not correct. Don't do that. Put the foam on the big one. Don't worry. We're going to put something on the middle. Put the foam on the big one and then put the little one on the foam. Something I'll tell you is a tip too that I like to do is I like to bring the dye packaging over and see how they lay it out. So they put the two larges on top of each other and the two smalls. I think I'll do the same thing. I like that because then um, you have two different size flowers. So that this is what they did. They put the two large. I don't like how that's laid. Let's change that out. So why didn't you put any Scotty in the middle of your background? You just don't need it. I, I don't. Scotty's too expensive to just coat everything. You just don't need it. Um, and now I'm going to do the little guy. That was a lot more Scotty than I would normally use. I was going to say, normally you just two I strips. do the corners. Two strips. She's Shannon Scotty. Yeah, I'm, I don't, I don't usually, Scotty's too expensive. You can't, you can't be willy nilly with, those are really pretty already, aren't they? Imagine if you ink them. I'm not because I'm playing with white, right? So I'm not going to ink them. Um, let me show you this too. These are the centers. If you cut them in white, which are really pretty, just like this, and just give it some texture. But I just thought it'd be so pretty to put the gold in the middle. I think that's going to be gorgeous. So I'm not going to put that there for now. So there's those. Now let's see if there's anything else I need to assemble. Oh, look, they layered their um, centers. That's really pretty. Uh, let's assemble our berries. Cinnamon said your card is so white. Can you put it in a shadow so we can see the embossing detail? Um. See it? There are no shadows in here. This is this is a filming studio. It's pretty bright. But there you go. And we'll come back to it. And I'll lift it up and lift it up and stuff like that. All right. So let's bring these guys over and let's work on them. Now, this was my plan for them. I don't want this whole stem red. I just want the berries red. So I'm going to cut these off and glue them on. What y'all think about that? I like it. Also, I want to tell y'all something. This is not a card for everyone. Here's what I mean. This is not that it's not a card for everyone to make. Everyone can make it. This is not a card you make for everyone. This is one that's going to take you a little time. This is the one you make that's special. You know, this is the one you want the one card of, not the ones you're going to just send out hundreds of. You'll be doing this from January to September. Congratulations to Barbara Thompson on 44 years of wedding bliss. Wedded bliss. Congrats. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Surely you're going not you're going somewhere nice. Where are you going? I'll meet you there. She's like, you better get on the road yesterday. Also, I'm sure someone will mention it if they hadn't. You don't have to be this fussy. You can use a, a crystal drop. You can use a glitter drop. You can use a ink. You can just ink it. I just want to be fussy. I think somebody said that they did it before, but they used the, the glossy accents. I think. Do any said. of that. Any of that. <clears throat> Every time we go live. She gets a frog in her throat. It's like it's like I it's like my throat knows it. Maybe that's an anxious tick. Maybe I have an anxious tick. Ooh, you're on to something. You think I have an anxious tick? I don't know. Not Good. really. I've been sitting in here all day just fine. It's every time you go live. Hey, Big Red. <laughs> every time. I'm so glad you're watching. Is that your Big Red watching? It says oh, Miss Clarice is watching. Hello, Miss Clarice. All right. Dot some glue. Y'all see I'm not rushing. I'm making one card. That's the thing that's cool about it. When you're doing a single like this, you don't have to rush. I'm not trying to make 47. I'm trying to make one good one. Or one decent one. One decent card. Am I in screen? I didn't even check. You are. You are. I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm way over here. Now, if you don't match these up perfectly, because there are some shapes to them, 
don't stress. That white that's sticking out is going to be over white. So it's not going to matter. Did I not put glue on that one? I didn't put glue on that one. I'm like, why is that googling? That berry was like, what do you want me to do? Because you didn't put any glue. I put enough that time, I glued them to my surface. Mm -mm. He'll come off. This is going to be pretty like this. With just the tips being red. I don't know what I do without this quick stick. This is fine work. Get it going. Hey, Shannon. Yeah. I actually, today, when I had to peel these apart, I nearly just walked in there and handed them to you. I would have done it. <laughs> you would have loved it. They were Y'all made us had to craft by herself because I've been doing nothing but crafting Acropolis stuff. I've done so many projects she today, has. too. So many today. All right. That's probably why I'm crafting slow. I'm tired. I've done so much. This morning I made a stepper card. This afternoon I made three projects for um, Club Reveal. Now I'm doing this one. I literally was thinking, some people don't get to craft this much in a week. And I did this in a day. I haven't crafted that much in a month. Yep. And I'm sitting here pushing out crafts. Hey, welcome everybody that's watching on Facebook. Um, I'm trying to look and watch for your comments there on Facebook as well as uh, through the, the live stream. So if uh, if I miss you, I apologize, but I'll try to keep up. Um, but great to have you guys watching over on Facebook as well as YouTube. We love it. It's really growing over there. <clears throat> I knew it would. It took some time, but it's really starting to pick up um, viewership. Yes, the quick stick is amazing. It's the greatest. Oh, it's not the greatest because I just used that glue press right there too, so. Okay, I'm fixed to leave you for just a few minutes. Oh, no. But I'll be right back. Can we handle it? I'm actually not leaving, but my computer is restarting. Oh, no, because of the update. And he's gone. So hopefully it will not take my computer too long to uh, kick back on. But I can still watch on Facebook till it comes up. Don't y'all love automatic updates? They all seem to happen at such just the right time. We can change the setting. I just forget about it when we're not. We can change it until it not this time. Do it overnight. Well, it asked my permission about an hour ago, and I said, yeah. But then it took it forever to do it. So it said, May I please do this update? No, I guess it would have been the voice of Siri. Update starting. <laughs> That's probably what <laughs> Okay. Y'all, that was the hardest thing we're going to do tonight. Seriously. Look how pretty they are, though. So cool. So pretty. So cool. Okay. So pretty. So then. Let's bring our card over. So this is the reason I've got fuzzies on the side of this card. This is the reason that I wanted to go ahead and stick that base down. Now, the only time I really mess you up is if you're wanting to wrap something around, like if you want to put a ribbon or a string or something like that. But here it's not going to be a problem. So now we're going to pick our layout. Look at the dimension. Look at the pretty, right? The other thing is Beautiful. we can go this way. We can lay them in any direction we want. Isn't this beautiful? Just like this, it's beautiful. Can you hold it up where they can see it? Can I move my hand? You want me to move my hand too? No, I really look at the texture. You hold it up where they can see the texture. So in the pretty. Look at all the texture. Now, what I would do there from this go. point is I would pick where my poinsettias are going and I would glue them down only in the centers. I'd put glue right in the center so I can lay my foliage around it. Oh, I kind of like that going up. I think I kind of like that. And I want to use as much of my card as I can because I want to put as much foliage on as I can. So I'm going to fidget for a bit. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I keep saying that and then I move it. That's pretty good. Let's that's go with that. Good. Let's go it. with that. I think that's pretty good. Dot of glue. See how I'm just putting the glue in the middle? It's pretty good. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put it down. And the reason for that is it's that's plenty of glue to hold this down. And I want to be able to tuck my foliage under it. 
Now, you may do this a whole different way, and there's no wrong way. This is just me. I like for these piece, my anchor pieces to sit still for me. I don't want to have to fight them. Okay. So those are placed. I love all the texture. Now's where the fun part comes in. All right. I think I'm going to go largest lease up. You know what I'm saying? Like most substantial to the back. So see this? Look what's going to happen when I tuck this in. Let me bring that up. Look at that. And we may not get all this on here. We may find like it's too much, but I think this is stunning. So I'm going to place. I'm not going to glue yet. Then because I have two, I can have one going that way and then one coming this way. Just like this. And it's okay if they tuck in because what happens in nature? You know. They die. Yeah, well, that's exactly what happens in nature. Look how pretty. And then, of course, we have these pieces, these pieces. And let's see. I like stacking them up. Of course, I'm going to glue everything down because I want to be able to like move things around. So what I'm noticing is I might want to pull this one out a little bit so I can get more of it. You see what I'm saying? So I can see more of that. And then I don't lose it behind this frond, which I love that piece. I really think it needs that different texture. See how pretty that is? And then I think our berries will set it off. That's what I think will happen. So that feels good. You need to start gluing. Well, you're going to have it all Get tucked in. And, and then you're going to have to take it all apart. All right. So I'm going to tuck this in this area. Like so. I want some of that to show. A lot of that to show. Then another thing we can do. If we feel like this is too much. I can cut it and just use that little bit. And to be honest, I think I don't need all of this. So let me do this. If you don't like it, you can uh, change it for yours. I'm going to this number. I'm going to cut that away. <gasps> there you go. And Take then see how much that's just better. It just needs a touch. Just a touch. Love it. I'm also not gluing everything down. I don't want it to stuck to stick down. I want it to have movement and feel like nature. I think that's so pretty. I think it's so pretty. I gotta show you something else too. I really think these are pretty. See, I'm gonna trim this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little hedge trimming on that one. But you guys, look how pretty this would be. It looks like those um, it's pretty. Lord, glitter I'm red twigs. Coming back now. It's doing a line again. Y'all just be patient. I'm sorry. I think I may because use these. I may use these um, pieces I cut off. I think they're really pretty. What y'all think? I like it. Do a little hedge clipping over here. Hedge clipping. Hedge All right. Old. Let's put another piece down here. And let's see if we can utilize this one. Or if we feel like it looks too, too hedge clipped. I think it does. It kind of looks like spider cones. Did you see the spider tongs? What was that again? Spider tongs. You want me to do the hand motions again? It looked like spider tongs. Okay, if this you like now. eggnog, it is not too soon for you to enjoy your eggnog. No. It is never too soon. Don't like it. If they sold it year round, I would drink it year round. I think they have it at Winn-Dixie. They do. They just don't have the good kind yet. Sorry. There is the no good thing kind. Is they don't make my favorite kind anymore. It did look like a fishbone. Somebody said it looked like a fishbone. I thought it did too. Correct. It did. Now, here's the thing I want to caution you on when you're placing these. I'm acting like I know what I'm doing. But the thing is, don't get everything too tight. Okay? If you get everything like you think it should go and it's super, super tight, you're just going to have a line. So, you don't want to do that. Let's see how these are going to look. Now, watch how these are going to just change everything. Look at this. I'm tucking and tucking and tucking to get that in there. Isn't that beautiful? Just added like that. I'll bring it up for y'all to see it. Let me lay this in. Hey, mom and dad. Probably mom. Look at this. I think this is so pretty with that pop of color. Let's see what it looks like if I add these stems. Those of you that wonder where Vinny's at, Vinny's here. He just, oh. you just can't see me. Oh, I love My computer this. had to do an update midstream. Yeah, 
what if I told you I think that's too many berries? Y'all gonna be like, no, don't cut the berries away. I don't clip the berries. Yep, that's better. I needed a little bit of separation. That's better. Hey, those berries you cut, you can tuck them in somewhere Yeah, else. I can. Coming off the edge of a flower or something. I can Out probably. Out the flower. I could probably double stuff them. You know what I'm saying? Like, put them here. We'll see. Or I can use them somewhere else. All right, so there's that one. I actually think I might leave this one. I think I'm okay with this one. Do we have any of that gold stringy twine? You know which one I'm talking about? Ooh. Get in there. Get in your home. We have silver. That's silver will probably about. work. Okay. So I'm probably going to use these twigs too. But hold on because I'm going to do something else now. Is this what you were talking about? Um, yeah. No gold in there. That's okay. Let me see. And I might use it. Um, now what I'm going to do is do these centers. I left them in the, yeah. I want to put these centers on. I think they'll be pretty. And I need my quick stick. And some glue. I'm just going to run. I'm going to like scratch glue in the middle. And then I'm going to lay this in here. And watch ah. how this is going to change things. Look at that. Just look at that come to life. So pretty. I really love it. It's really not that hard to do. Just look at it. Just look at it. Are you still blocked out? Just 10 more minutes. Oh, goodness. You may be an after show guy. I may be. think this needs a branch. That's gorgeous. The branch really did it. Isn't that funny? The piece that was not even supposed to be a part of the deal just really made it. But I am watching cool. on Facebook. I'm glad you're watching. No, um, the... The, the 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 die that cuts the um, poinsettias also embosses them. Yes, it's, that's so cool too. It embosses all of those pieces. The leaves also have um, the leaf lines and everything. I don't think I need those. I'm not going to waste them here. I can use them somewhere else. So look, I didn't need any of this. I don't think I need any of that. I think I can use that somewhere else. All that extra. I think this is beautiful. To fall and a sentiment right here. Now, here's the thing I think this might be cool if we add a bow. Maybe it may not be cute, it may not be cute, but let's see. It can't hurt to see. No, no, it can't hurt. Hey, Miss Cindy, thanks for watching tonight on Facebook. I know there's a better way, but I didn't do it the better way, I did it the my way. You didn't do it the Shannon way? You don't want this on here, do you? I think it's fine, Shannon. Silver and gold. How's Silver the song go? Silver and gold. There it is. Silver and gold. As soon as I get this tied, she's going to find it. Nah. I'm not looking that hard. Although there is the bucket of ribbon. Why is it in here? We will never know. I think I want that a little bigger than that. Oh, yeah, Miss Carolyn, she's been using the glue press all night. No, nope, it's not in here. We probably used it all. I think we did. Well, all these silver wires look the same. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. Is okay. it that bad? Okay, I have to do something off camera. Okay. I probably wasn't really off camera. 
I'd use my teeth. You were mostly off teeth. camera. I had to use my teeth to tighten it. You borrow your friend, not your friend's teeth. Just borrow your friend. Put your teeth here. All right. So now I'm going to separate. I love this little thin wire. It is not made for this. It's Bodabra it's wire. The best stuff ever. But it's so good. It's the bestest ever. It's just so good. Okay. So I think I'll tuck this in. Maybe in here. Let me see if I want it there. Maybe I'll go this away with it. This away or add away? Either way. Or maybe I'll go over here. Oh, I like it over there. Or maybe I can go up here. I like it over there too. I feel like I'm in timeout. <laughs> maybe I did on purpose. Six more minutes. Maybe I did I on like purpose. It. None. Sorry, y'all. I don't mean to be, you know. In the background. The voice from the the abyss. I think it's pretty. It just needs a sentiment or no sentiment. Or we put no sentiment and we just sign inside of it. Mm. I like it. I think it turned out pretty. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. So there you go. Play with your one sheets of cardstock. Now, obviously, we use some red and stuff in there, but isn't it pretty? And isn't it easy how you can just, I mean, it's easy to just run this, to just run this through. I hear all you know bowers, but on your card, don't put a bow. I like the bow. <laughs> Everybody, like, bow, bow, bow. Don't worry. My card. <laughs> um, or they're saying no bow, not bow. Not bow. But I love that you can take this and just do it in white. The other thing that I love when you do solid color is all these pieces, you can just color them. You can just absolutely take markers and color them any color you want. Like if I wanted to add a pop of green, instead of cutting it, I could just use a marker and color it. Or I could just do stripes and do like the veins or whatever. Anything you want to do. That's a trick. That My favorite trick is to use my dyes and use white cardstock. Because especially like, you remember the ones we have that are the farm animals? We have them. Little farm people and stuff. If you cut, and I've done this. Like we did an album where we did this. I cut everything in white. And then I just colored it with markers. And it is so much easier than running paper after paper after paper through. I think it's a very That's good what one. what I should have done with the alphabet dye. Oh, I didn't think about it. My chip and I didn't think about it. All right, you guys. That's the card for tonight. So, how many minutes, Vinny, for you? <laughs> Since I still have four minutes. All right, guys. That's the card for tonight. So, let's talk about this. If you are part of Craft Acropolis that starts next week, um, you want to make sure that you saw your email. Okay. That email had not this week. The email came out, went out last week and it had the video in it that explained yep. everything for you, what you need to know about registration and everything. So please be sure to check your email. If you have already purchased a ticket, if you have not purchased a ticket and for some reason you want to grab a table or grab something, there's maybe ones and twos. I mean, we could squeeze a person or two in, not a lot. But if you just think, hey, I just want to get hit the road and go do it, let us know. Come on. Um, the uh, What other announcements we have? Open house. Please mark your calendar. November 10th and 11th. That's only a couple weeks away, you guys, um, is open house. And we're excited. We have a really cool make and take we're doing. And we're doing the make and take at our Chilton County Art Council's building. And it is so beautiful. You're going to love this building. We're very excited to get to use the building. Um, and I think you're really going to like it. And there's something special. If you go to the make and take, you get a little treat just for going to the make and take and then coming to the store. So be sure to um, mark your calendar for that. And what else? I can't remember. I can't remember. If you are part of um, Craft Acropolis and you want to be a part of the dinner on Monday night, you need to make sure you let Shannon know or you respond in the um, Facebook group. And if you're not in the Facebook group, you need to message Tamitha and let Tamitha know you need to be in the Facebook group. I'm just making sure we say everything because that's coming up real soon. And we are meeting at a small local diner. Uh -huh. So I hope you don't mind being cozy. Big roll of Scotty. We carry them in our store. You can get them there. And if you're a stamp club member, you can use your 15% off on it. And that's something I want to tell you about stamp club. Okay. 
you know that we had to raise our prices this year in the summer of our stamps and we agreed to wait till the end of the year to raise stamp club prices. What that means is we the way our club is done, it's a subscription service that we use. And the way it's done, I can't just go in there and edit the price. So if you're already in there, you get to keep that price. So if you want to sign up at the current price and get your stamps at the $11.99 or the $13.49 price, you need to sign up now so you can lock that price in before January. Or sign, make sure you sign up, what is it, by, by December 30th, 31st? Really it's pushing it if you do the that. 31st. It's pushing it if you wait till the last day. But go ahead and sign up. I would say no later than the 25th. No later than Christmas. And if you do that, then you lock in the current price, which is... Now $2 cheaper. Yeah, set. right now it's $2 cheaper than our regular set. So I wanted to mention that. I mentioned it in the reveal that I filmed today, and I wanted to make sure I mentioned that to you guys too, because I don't think I ever tell you. But as a club member, you get 15% off most, and I mean more... Like really, really most of your purchases, there's very few things that are excluded. Um, and you can use that every day on your purchases in the store. All right. We're going to head out. Tamitha's going to, she already has, I'm sure, put the after show link in. Or maybe not. I'm going to wait for Tamitha to put that little after show link in. If you've never come to the after show, that's where we hang out. We show you stuff that's been sent to us from folks around the world in different places. We show you anything new we have in store. We show you any re-ups that we've got. And typically we have a funny story. Do I have a funny story this week? Have we been so busy that there's no funny? No, there is a funny story. There is a funny story. You and I laugh so hard about it. I'll have to I'll have to remember in the in the break. There was something that we did that was so funny. Remember? I don't remember, but we'll come up with it. All right, you guys. So there's the link for the after show. Click on that. Head on over and start chatting. We're going to let Vinny get back on and we'll see you in just a few minutes. Bye now.